you're right here stop it this is you that is so cute i this is you. This love is you. that i love it i love it so this role is completely different to how you are in person you're like cheery you're cool you're nice but then this villain this role that you play is just 180 right so how did yeah. you prepare for that you just rewatched i don't know like i i didn't particularly rewatch anyone going in mm-hmm. i think even when they sent me like the audition script right i already had the voice in mind for it mm-hmm. just from reading the dialogue and i remember that that, that line the noose tightens around the neck of the city every day and and for someone to have that kind of vocabulary to speak like that right the noose tightens around the neck so i wanted to like really you, you want to hear all those sounds like the noose tightens around the neck and i wanted to like play around with sort of the inflections of his voice you know you you said that you do a bit of everything so how do you manage to number one balance it all and number two like i feel that a lot of people always come to us and say like no you have to focus on one thing you just have to be one thing right right have you ever struggled with that like in your career thinking like oh i need to pick one thing that i need to focus on or else people are not really going to know who i am see the the tricky thing for me is that i grew up wanting to be an actor and then i wanted to be a screenwriter then i wanted to be a director and then i discovered music so i started writing music yeah and then i ended up doing radio for 10 years but i feel like i also have started in the past couple of years enjoying the behind the scenes stuff a lot more as well like the podcast that i host i also produce it you know and and that has um been a lot from listening to radio shows and observing other people's radio shows and then deciding for myself how i want to craft this radio show on the podcast medium right um and with with music as well that there, there there's some joys in writing a song completely finishing the product everything is mastered but then you don't release it and you just send it to a couple of friends and you're like I don't need anyone's feedback on this song. I don't need to entertain anyone with this song. I just need right. to create this song for myself. But I've also never had a problem with the balance thing cuz That's great. I feel like I do a lot of things, but I also have so much time to feel lonely and so oh. much time oh. so much time to feel like why is everyone else's lives more cool and interesting than mine? Oh. I, I, I don't know if you feel that way, but I, I know feel what you like mean. Yeah, and I feel like the friends of mine who have like that one thing to do, they mm-hmm. seem to always be busy. Right. And meanwhile I'm like running here, running there, running here, running there, <laughs> but then I'm like if anyone asks me like at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, if anyone says like hey, you're free for dinner, I'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll move things around. You know, I'll just like I'll Right. You know, I'll just move everything back by an hour then slot you in, you know. So I've never had an issue with the the busy thing and I really hope I never have an issue with uh, with busy cuz i it, it it makes like i like spontaneity as well and yeah. i, I, I want to leave a bit of room for life to just throw things at you cuz yeah and to just happen yeah. yeah exactly okay that's all i've got thank you oh, so much Josh. all right good. i'll catch up with you soon love thanks Josh. it Take was care. such a great talk bye bye bye